Hi, my name is Dr. Gregory Poussel, and this will be a series of courses on the TMJ, the TMJ joint, and all of the dysfunction and function of the TMJ joint. Uh, there will be four videos that talk about the uh, function and dysfunction, and then some subsequent videos later on that discuss uh, the, the treatments and modality that, that you can uh, have in order to fix this. Uh, this course we'll call it 101 which is normal function because we have to know what normal function is before we can decide what uh, abnormal and dysfunction is. So in a normal situation we hit the teeth all fit together and interdigitate well not quite like this model and but it gives you an idea about how everything fits together we dentists call this fitting together of the teeth the occlusion. This represents the jaw joint the head of the jaw joint is called the condyle and right above that is, is represented by this little piece of plastic that I'm wiggling right now. is called the disc. And that keeps the jaw joint from rubbing up against the head and, and wearing and causing problems. Uh, the last orientation that we're going to look at is there's a tiny little dot here on this plastic. And that corresponds when the jaw is in its ideal position to the big dot that's on the head of the condyle. So those two will approximate each other when this jaw is in its right and appropriate position. These little rubber bands represent the muscles. You can't see them very well. They're, they go up, you know, all over the place, and there's muscles all over the head and neck. And the muscles will torque, as you will see in all the subsequent videos, so that the teeth will win out over the jaw joint and the muscles, and in order to get them to fit together as, as, as best as possible. In normal function, the way that this works is that the... It, Initially, you will start with by just rotating around that this little point. So if you look right here, you'll notice there is no movement of the jaw joint, that it just rotates in position. But that can't give you the full opening. You can only get about 20 millimeters of opening doing that. So the next step after that is what we call translation, where this jaw joint actually slides down the slope like this and the jaw opens the rest of the way. Now, a complete opening should give you about three fingers worth of opening. If you can't open about three of your own fingers, then you may have a bite TMJ issue, and which you will be able to see in some later videos. Uh, as we go into the closure, the everything goes reciprocally. We go back and we slide back up, the, and the jaw slides back up, in the, the retranslating back into position and gets into position that we just now are going into the rotation for, again for the last 20 millimeters. So to recap. The uh, normal motion is a rotation followed by a translation as you slide open and then upon closing the, uh, uh, you go through translation and back into uh, rotation again. But once this all is balanced, if this is all in harmony, then these muscles are all relaxed. If it's not in harmony, then you can have all kinds of problems which we'll see in subsequent videos. So this was TMJ 101 normal, and the next one we're going to look at myofascial pain and how, what's driving that. Thank you for watching.